set up on the attack Baby, I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it, no cap Only got one shoe, better go live it up Cash in the bag Stadium pack Baby, I'm bad What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cece, a.k.a. Cecilia Robinson, a.k.a. Cece Reacts. And I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need for you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Listen, this episode is brought to you by Straight Drop Weight Loss Formula, formulated by yours truly. And taking it, I've lost over 150 pounds, and you can do it too. If you're trying to get your summer body together, this is the product for you. You know, all you got to do is hit the little link in the description and grab your bottle. Now, each and every one of my videos are in chronological order. So if you ever feel like you've missed anything, all you got to do is go back to the previous video and bring yourself up to speed. Now, for everybody who wants more content there's more content available on the sea hive and i have a new series that's getting ready to drop called on the flip side listen until then i need for y'all to sit back relax and enjoy this fire 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 content y'all be smooth Y'all listen, um, I did not get a chance to stay in Chicago that much longer because I talked to my man and he was requesting my presence in Dallas. Yes, bitch. Yes. He was in his crib and he wanted me there. Do you know how good that felt to me? It felt amazing. Amazing. So I go ahead and you know, get myself together so I can head to Dallas. Did I go to the store and get some lingerie and all of that? Absolutely not. We bucking ball through the whole bone naked up in this bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no lingerie. You looking at flat pancake ass all day. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what they say that I ain't low. You, you, that's what you want. You know, um, I was excited. I was excited that he wanted me out there at his place. I didn't have to stay at a hotel. Um, and I was excited because I knew the other bitch was out the picture. At least I was hoping she was out the picture. I, mean, I was I was getting ready to go see. He had been in this place for a little a little couple of days, couple. Let me go see if it's any uh, uh signs of the, the girlfriend's past up in this bitch. It is what it is. Have it go. I go ahead and, you know, I head to Dallas, catch me a flight to Dallas, and he's right there waiting on me. When I, you know, walk out the airport, uh, he's standing outside his, his car, and, you know, I walk up to him, and he put his arms around my big ass, and he kissed me all in my mouth in public. That's what I love. He grabbed my little fat rose and let me know. He know he, he let me know that he appreciate him, you know? And it felt good because, listen, Dealing with black for me was, uh, considering the fact that I had gained so much weight, it was really a confident booster because he made me feel like I was the most beautiful girl in the world. He loved every part of me when he got a chance to do so. He loved every part of me. He didn't, you know, turn out the light. No, I want to sing. You know, I got a coin inside. I rub coins. What about a bunion? I rub bunions too. I got a little patch of hair on my back. That's all right. You ain't got to shave it. I comb it out and kiss it. You know, just, just uh, like you just made me feel so beautiful and appreciated. You know, go ahead, open doors. Bitch, I ain't touched the door. You know, he opened doors. You know, um, he opened the door, get me in the car, you know, he put my bag in the car and I'm sitting up in there and I gotta be honest, I'm looking around the car and make sure that bitch stuff is gone. It is gone, you know, and I feel good about that. I feel good. Yes, this bitch is out, you know, all right. When you get in the car, I've asked him, you done? You been cleaned up your side of the street? He said, I'm done. Yes, this is what I wanted to hear. You know, um, he said, what you want to eat? He want to take me to a Dallas restaurant. 
you know, so I can I can get a, a taste of Dallas. I told Michelle, I want to eat that nigga. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. You know, and on the plane right there, um, I it was it was some things I wanted to show him that I hadn't been able to show him. There was qualities that I possessed that I hadn't been able to show him before. Talking about stuff and and being able to actually do stuff are two totally different things. Baby, I don't want to go to no restaurant. I just want to go to the grocery store, grab some food, um, enough to be in the house for the next couple of days. And I want you, 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 you're franking me on every piece of furniture, on every counter up in there, baby. Let's christen this house. Let's christen this crib. You know what I'm saying? I want my scent over every damn day. I want my juices over everything. It is what it is. Um, he said, okay. I said, let's take the bags to the house first, you know. Um, 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 and, and then we go to the grocery store. You know, we come up with a, a menu and I want to cook for you. He, you sure you can cook? You sure you want to cook? Cause you don't have to cook. No, baby. I want to let you know that you don't have to go and, and buy a meal if you choose not to. Baby, I got you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you everything. Gucci and food. I'm going to give you some mental stimulation. And, 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 and you're going to give me plenty of penetration. That's what we're going to do. This is why I just want to be about us this whole time. We don't have to be around nobody. I just want to be here enjoying your, your space. You know, we go here, we get to the, to his apartment and I got to be honest. Um, yeah, he told me, you know, in a car that, you know, he cleaned up his side of the street, but I wanted to see. You know, um, he has his apartment set up really nice. And did you decorate this show damn self? I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna go around your crib and 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 inspect, you know, being and I'm gonna inspect things myself. You know, am I gonna find traces of hair? If I pull back the, you know, the the, the cover, am I gonna see little cum spots on the on the sheets and stuff? You know, am I when I go in the bathroom, am I gonna find hair in the drain? Um, and, and is it gonna be another bitch's pass up in your 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 place? It is what it is. Um, did I tell him this? Absolutely not. But when I got up in there, I love the way it smell, and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. So far, so good. I don't see no other bitch around here. Uh, so when he tell me where I could put my bag, I, you know, I put it inside the closet with his things, and I'm looking around and everything, and how he got everything set up nice and neat. And I'm realizing that he's a very clean man. You know, he's a very neat man. He's very, you know. And I, I, I appreciate that about him, you know? Um, and I go ahead and go to the bathroom, you know, go to the bathroom, close both of the bathroom doors because it's a door over here, it's a door over there, you know, walk in the bedroom. And you can walk through the bedroom to get in the bathroom. You can walk out the bathroom to get into the living room. You know, I close both of the doors and I, I secretly looked in, you know, under the sink and in the cabinets and everything. I wanted to see if everything here belong to your ass that's what i wanted to do and it checked out it did which made me feel even more better you know i come out the bathroom and i'm asking him what do you want to eat what do you want to eat he was like what can you cook i said baby i could cook any damn thing i'm a restaurant right here and he was like well what's something easy what's something easy i don't want you in the kitchen all day you know you ain't come out here to stand up with no stove i said i'll do anything for you he said but what's something easy i said you like tacos yeah, a bitch can't never mess up tacos. If you mess up tacos, bitch, you don't even need to procreate on this earth. He said, yeah, I love tacos. I said, okay, let's go to the store, get some stuff for some tacos. I said, let's get some stuff for breakfast, you know, get some snacks and everything. Because my big ass wasn't going, you know, all day without some snacks. Let's get some popcorn and everything, you know. Tonight, let's watch movies. You know, let's sit up on the couch and, you know, Netflix and chill. And he ain't know we're going to be eating some food again while we're watching Netflix and chill. But that, that's, 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 I, I'm going to say that little piece for later. So we go ahead and we go to the store and, you know, we get everything we need for the, to be housed, you know, uh, uh, kept in for the next couple of days. And it felt good, you know, me and him walking through the stores, he holding my hand. I'm able to walk up to him and kiss him and hug him. I ain't got to hide. You know, I ain't got to worry about old bitch, you know, coming uh, 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 behind uh, 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 Al, you know, looking behind a shelf or some stuff like that. Because this action right now was 150% legal. This was my man. This was my man. 
Um, so we go ahead and get the stuff and uh, we go ahead and head back to the house. And, you know, I go ahead and I cook. And baby, when I say he told them damn tacos, ah! Tore them up, baby. I made that food with love. I made it with love. Baby, I had the, you know, the damn ground. You don't eat no beef, no stuff like this. So, you know, I got, a, you know, I had the ground turkey and I had the shells and the cheese and the salsa and, you know, the lettuce. And, you know, he like all his trimmings and everything. And he ate until he couldn't eat no more. And I'm thinking, go ahead and eat them tacos up, baby, because you're going to be eating some COVID cat like that tonight. You know, um, the day winded down and, um, I'm, let me go ahead and take a shower. You know, I smell like yeah, I smell like tacos. You know, let me go ahead and get in the shower. When I got in the shower, when I had my 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 body wash and everything, sitting in his shower. You know, my toothbrush in the in the toothbrush hole. I felt listen. This was my man. Now I'm I'm just gonna throw this out here. I felt like I was at home, bitch. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't a booty call no more. You know, it's a whole different vibe. It's a whole different feeling. Uh, I get out the shower, and, but of course, I ain't bring no damn pajamas. But I like, you know, I, I I wanted to give him a different little image or whatever. So I ain't put on no no panties, no bras or whatever. So I go on here to put on his t-shirt. You know, put on his t-shirt, and I come on out, and and he to pick the movie out, and he's sitting on the couch, you know, and he looking real good in them jogging pants, them gray jogging pants, ladies. You know what them gray jogging pants do, especially when he got a. Oh, he's sitting up there and, you know, he wiggling his toes or whatever. I go on here to get on the couch and I ask him about the movie, not giving a damn about the movie because I know I'm about to put Sidney Dean all up in your face. This bitch is fresh. So I go on here and I get on my side of the couch and, you know, I put my, one of my, my, I put my leg up, cock one of my legs up and put the other one across him. But I keep sliding it on down so I can open sesame so he can see what's going on over there. So the movie playing, and the bitch watched it. We ain't watched nothing. Because when he see me go ahead and open it, Sydney Dan and seeing how pretty and pink she is. You know what I'm saying? He was mesmerized. He was mesmerized. And he came closer and closer and closer. So I go ahead and pull that little t-shirt on up. Bow! Put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Bow! Put it out there so he can see all. You know what I'm saying? Tattoos and all, you see all. Go ahead and put it out there. You know, I cover my little stomach to give the illusion that that bitch is flat. You know, but you don't give a damn. You know, and next thing I know, that bald head looking like a milk dud is right there between my lap. <laughs> Baby, I was in heaven. In heaven. I felt like he was writing my damn name with his thumb. God damn it. I'm talking about, listen, my knees start to shake. My heart started to beat. My what? Uh, 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 uh. Now listen, you know, normally I gotta be honest. When I'm when I'm with him, you know, I try to control my noises because we in hotel rooms and every damn thing. But I wanted all his damn neighbors to know what he was over here doing. Baby! Pray! Y'all, they y'all know he'll be getting some. So if any of you bitches see my man and you, you thought you was gonna try, know he was over here carrying the cat up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm shaking and I'm loud, extra loud. You know what I'm saying? I like I was in the opera. I don't give a damn. And it felt amazing. It felt amazing. It felt amazing. It felt amazing. And all the juices and all the came together, baby, and it was one big explosion. <laughs> Boy, you so nasty. <laughs> you so nasty. <laughs> and he gone here, he lift up in here. You know, <laughs> he licked the juices off <laughs> his mouth. <laughs> Oh, you so nasty. <laughs> and he up on his knees and I can see it standing. Bow! Listen, let me tell you something about him. You know, uh, 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 he was a triple threat. You know, uh, let me, let me tell you what a triple threat is. He's a hell of a man to me. You know what I'm saying? That's one. Uh, just a hell of a fat. Like I said, you go above and beyond to make sure that I'm good. You know, that's one. Uh, two, he can eat good cat. And three, he can yeah! Right behind it. You know what I'm saying? Right behind it. He was an assassin. You know what I'm saying? He was an assassin.
Listen, you listen. He got all those things all in one. He ain't gotta go borrow no daylight from no store, no nothing. He was it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gotta pretend like he down there all the time playing with the. He ain't gotta do none of that. He was it. So he's standing on. Uh, he's sitting on his knees, and then you see the it. Eh! Do the great jogging pants or whatever, and he go on here, he take his shirt off. So I sit up a little bit and he, you know, put his hand there. Don't move. So he go on here and he pull them joggers down and he revealed that missile. He revealed that missile. And I knew that my girl was gonna be singing for the next 30, 45 minutes. When I say my girl was gonna be singing for the next 35, uh 30, 45 minutes, let me tell you this. I have never in my life through penetration. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And he makes me do it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So it's like, okay, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't do no more. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I just can't no more. Stop. You know, and he makes sure that I get it all out of my system before he even go in to, 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 to attempt to get his. You know, and 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 my stamina cannot match his, but he he goes. You know, and and listen, I watched him take off his shirt, and I watched him put on no gray joggers, and then he finally come on over there to me, and he pulled his shirt up off of me, and he pushed me on back. Now when he pushed me on back, my titties go their separate ways, like they got restraining orders against one another. He didn't give a damn, and then he see me up there trying to get him back together like a family reunion. You know, he he tapped my hand, leave him alone. They probably don't want to talk right now. But I need him to talk, baby. No, they don't want to talk. I need him to talk. And he going up there. He take his hands and he cup him. He cup him. He say, what's the problem? You know, he talking to him. Talking, what's the problem? Why y'all don't want to be next to one another? Y'all family. Whole time he bringing them back together. When he bring them back together, he open his mouth and put both of them in. Woo! Baby, yes! You know what I'm saying? Sidney Dean was down there hollering, you know, and he gone ahead and he get up in there, baby. And I'm talking about he worked my ass so beautifully. Worked me so beautifully. I'm talking about, I'm listen, he tell me to, you know, after he from on top, he tell me to go on ahead and, you know, turn on over and put that flat ass up in the air. He ain't called it flat, but I know what it is. Now I'm up there looking like the damn state push marshmallow man bent all over on the couch. It's all right. He put his hand on my fat rose and he got behind me. He was tearing that ass up in my, my, my titties long as the day, you know, but it's all right. He put his hand around there and push him back to my chest there now and then, but it felt good, you know? Then we got tired of being on them damn couches and chairs, and we go on here and head to the bedroom. And he got me every which way but loose, and I'm up there looking like a goddamn potato bug, but that's all right, he was tearing my ass up. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> 45 minutes that came, I done screamed till my damn, but my throat is dry. Ah! 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 And finally, he done explode. Ah! 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 Okay. Let me land here. Now he done put in a hell of a hell of a job. He done put in some work. He done did a hell of a job. I actually don't have to move back. I'm gonna go up in here and I'm gonna I'm get it, you know, get you something to wipe off with. I'm gonna go get you something to wipe off with. I go on here and I roll my big ass up off that bed and I go on here and switch my fat ass to that to that to that bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking in the mirror at all the rolls of skin. But that's all right, bitch. Don't be ashamed because he had his hands on every one of them rolls. I had a red hand print around my neck from the beef choked me, but that's all right. It felt great. You know, I go ahead, get a paper towel, go ahead, get the paper towel, go ahead, get a paper towel, put some water up on, you know, put some soap on. I ain't want to use towel, I want to use paper towel, I just throw it in the trash, you know. Go ahead, put some soap up on it, and we go ahead, and you know, I go on back out there, and he laying on the bed, you know, he got it still up in the air, you know, and I go ahead on over there, and I get down on my knees, because I want to, you know, be an eye level with it. I want to be an eye level with it, so he can see that I'm, 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 I'm wiping it with care. You know, so you see that I'm wiping it with care and I get an eye level with it. And it look kind of crazy to me. It, it He don't look kind of crazy to me, but the, 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 the look kind of crazy to me. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. You know, maybe I'm tripping. So I go on here and I wipe it. I start with the, the top of the missile. You know, I start with the top of the missile and I go on down to the bottom of the missile. Then I hit the nuts. 
tick them a little bit, then I go on here and put my nose to it a little bit, go on back up and wipe and I'm looking at him in his ass as I'm trying to show him I can do this with care. Baby, this a new, this a, this is a new era for us. You know, we're gonna be doing stuff like this all the time. You know, and I go on here and wipe again, wipe again, wipe again, then I go on here and get that dry paper towel and you know, wipe them off. And I go on here to the bathroom and, and then I look at the paper towel before I throw it away just a force a habit. You know, when you wipe yourself, you look at it. You know, you look at it. I just wipe the dining I wanna look at it. You know, I look at it and a bitch damn near fainted. I damn near fainted. Y'all, it was blood. Yep. Listen, y'all stay tuned. Be smooth. Bye. My name is Black and this is how I got fat. I was in pretty good shape at first. My father died and at the same time with my father dying, I was going through a divorce and I kind of went through a depression. After everything settled, I met the love of my life and she liked to cook. I began to eat even more. So I picked up even more weight. What made me want to lose weight? At the time I was running a boxing podcast and we got invited to Deontay Wilder's training camp. Deontay Wilder, the former heavyweight champion of the world, real cool dude. Me and my lady, we went to his training camp because my lady was on the podcast with me. My other partner from the podcast, Seven Eight, he got a call and he was like, man, Wilder people called me. He said, man, black pretty big and solid, man. He said, do you think that uh, he would want to do some rounds with Wilder, some sparring with Wilder? And my partner, he didn't even consult with me. He was like, hell no. Nah. He said, nah. And then he called the hotel and he was like, hey, Wilder people just called and was like, do you want to spar with him? And my girl, before I could even say anything, I, she was like, hell no. Nah. And I was like, damn. But I didn't want to spar with Wilder. Wilder was, is one of the most powerful punches in the world. You can see what he actually did to the guy that he was in a training camp for. But at the same time, I looked at myself and I realized that even if I wanted to get in there and spar with him, I couldn't. I had gained so much weight. I was so big. I'd have been lethargic, slow. He would have knocked me out immediately. You know what I mean? And it forced me to really, really reconsider my life and what I wanted to do. Me and my lady, we began to train uh, and she started working out with me. Uh, when you're in the gym, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And so it takes a while, especially for a woman to lose weight. And so she was not seeing the results that she wanted to see immediately like she wanted. Now, I'm very familiar with supplementation and how to help a person achieve their goals through supplementation. And I knew of a supplement that accelerated fat loss and supplements that would actually help her lose weight. And so I gave the ingredients for straight drop to her and I put her on a light workout. I didn't put her on anything heavy. Once she started taking the ingredients from straight drop, at first, she had a hard time sweating and actually losing any weight. Immediately, she started to sweat. Immediately, the pounds started melting off. And of course, I started taking it with her. And so it accelerated our weight loss together. And so she was seeing results. And the more results that she was seeing, as far as how fast she was seeing it, the more she wanted to go to the gym. Because at that point, it like motivated her to get in there and be like, well, I lost three pounds yesterday. I want to see how fast I can lose more or, or if I can lose another three, it turned into something for her. I've lost 90 pounds with straight drop weight loss formula. Straight drop is extremely effective. It enhances results. You have to work out with straight drop. You have to do some form of working out, but it enhances results. It's very unique. We've been using it consistently for months. We haven't built up any tolerance to it, which is crazy to me. And this is just us in particular. We've used it consistently on a day-to-day -day basis when we're going to the gym. It's ramped up our performance. This is how we lost our weight. You see the pictures. You see the before and afters. These are real things that have happened from us using this formula that we put together and that, that we're making available to you. Straight dry weight loss formula is definitely the real deal.